This is a tutorial on how to use the um, Maverick missile in the um, DCS A10 flight simulator. In the other tutorials on the web, um, they, they don't tell you which keys you actually have to press, so I think that's very important to know for the average player which buttons do I have to press. Okay, here we go. First thing you need to do is to go to your DSMS to the missile page and activate the AO power for your Maverick um, sensor. Takes about three minutes to boot up. Um, next would be um, activating your targeting port. This takes about one minute to boot up. And you shouldn't go to battle without countermeasures, so you should activate these as well. And since we don't face seven missiles in this mission, we can select a program with flares to fight off um, infrared threats. Okay, and here we go. Nasty crosswinds. Ooh. And rotation. Pressing G for gear up. And shift F. Or flaps up. And now I'm sending my wingman home. Because last time I played this mission, the AI broke and the mission crashed. So uh, I'm sending him, sending him home so he can't crash the mission and also can't steal my targets. Now that we're airborne, we can activate our weapons. And make our HUD active by pressing U. This is um, symbolized with this um, asterisk here. That means the HUD is active. Now we can switch waypoints by pressing HOME. So now I'm at waypoint 3, where my targets are. And now we can press page down to cycle through our weapons. So now we have a Maverick selected and it's station 9 optical sensor. And our targeting pot should be working now. So we turn towards the target. There it is. And it's very important when using the Maverick to um, use the autopilot. Because the airplane has to be completely still for you to aim. So we're now pressing 2 on the keyboard and A to activate the autopilot. And it's very important not to touch the joystick after doing that. Keep your hands off. Okay, and now we can have a look at our targeting port down here. We can now press um, C and hold it to slave our targeting port to our waypoint. Now we can hold down K to make this window active. And now tap V to zoom in. And here we have three tanks, Russian main battle tanks.
and we can create our own waypoints with the targeting pod by pressing left control and right arrow and then we could click on function and aid to use um, these new markers instead of our navigation points but in this mission we don't need that because we already have our waypoints on the targets okay now we can try to use our maverick missiles we can now slave it to this waypoint by holding down V now it's automatically aiming at the waypoint and now we can tap V to zoom in and now we can use our slew controls to aim we can wait till we're a little bit closer and then try to lock on The Maverick is a fire and forget weapon with a passive sensor head, so we can simply spam them. So now we should be close enough, so I'm trying to lock onto a target. And there we go. And fire. And we should quickly lock onto the next target. And fire. And now we can choose our other station and use these as well okay slaving again by pressing V and now I'm aiming at our third target and lock and fire and our first one is hitting right now BAM and second one is coming. Bam! Okay, our autopilot was disengaged. Stupid joystick. And now our third one is on the way. Bam! Direct hit. Okay, that's it. Now we can use some other weapons. We can press M to switch to CCIP mode it's a basic ground attack mode and we can tap U to make our HUD active again see the asterisk and now we could um, switch waypoints since all tanks are destroyed now we have a group of um, BTR troop carriers and we could now use um, page down to switch to um, unguided bombs and here we have a group of three um, BMP light tanks we, sh we should take them out instead because they have high armor you can always take out soft targets by using the gun. Okay, first approach. Pull up, pull up. Fire. And let's see what we're hitting. We're directed. And now the BMPs start running, they are panicking. Okay, now I'm trying a second run and then second pass. Trying to line them up so I can attack both in, in one run. That's looking good. Fire and fire. Altitude, altitude. Pull up, pull up. Boom, two direct hits.
Okay, next we can use our main gun on soft targets now we press M. Switch to gun mode. Oh, and there's a Russian helicopter. We, sh we should take that one off first. Let's see if we can hit him without assistance. Trying this now the old fashioned way. And he's doing some evasive maneuvers. I don't need a crosshair, a crosshair is It looks like he's hit. Yeah, that looks like a hit. Okay, now I'm using the gun on ground targets on these ETR troop transporters. We could also slave the target impact with the uh, Marker 4 and watch the hits with the um, high definition camera. And he's gone. And we come back for a second pass and then we fly home. Altitude, altitude. Time to head back home. The weapons off. Let's have a look at our map. The airport is up here. Winds are. Mm, not so bad. <laughs> 